hello good evening and good afternoon good morning and good day or good night wherever you're watching us from welcome to supernatural figure on apostolic assignment amen today's teaching is going to be fun 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 amen it's about godly and biblical herbs amen today i'm going to teach two spices together amen two leaves together amen before i proceed any time i come live on youtube or facebook i start with prayers and i end with prayers in the name of the lord amen because i am a messenger of god and my assignment is to promote the kingdom of god at all costs amen so everything i do i have to start with god and finish with god amen i had a scripture from some chapter 15 verse 1 to 5 let's close our eyes and pray all right let's pray heavenly father we thank you so much for our precious lives we thank you for taking good care of us from the whole of this new month we thank you for the month of October coming up, November, December, and the new year coming up. We thank you and we submit everything that we have into your hands. We pray you will continue to protect us and shield us, reign supreme in our lives. We submit everything that belongs to us into your hands. May you shield us, direct our path, teach us what is te teach us what is godly in order for us to learn from you, abide in you study your word and apply your word by practicing your word daily help us to make us to help make it to heaven we thank you for the plants the herbs the fruits everything that you've provided for us as human beings on earth help us to be able to love ourselves to help the needy the widow the orphans and we submit our physical enemies into your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good. Before I proceed, I'm going to read Psalm chapter 15, verse 1 to 5. Amen. It's going to be short and it's going to be brief and quick. Amen. I proceed. I'm reading from the NLT version. Who may worship in your sanctuary, Lord? Who may enter your presence, on your holy hill those who lead blameless lives and do what is right speaking the truth from sincere hearts those who refuse to gossip or harm their neighbors or speak evil of their friends amen mm -hmm. verse 4 and 5 those who despise fragrant sinners and honor the faithful followers of the Lord. Amen. And keep their promises even when it hurts. Amen. Those who lend money without charging interest and who cannot be bribed to lie about the innocent. Such people will stand firm forever. Amen. I brought this scripture up because god is the author of everything amen he is the creator of the heavens and the earth amen and everything in it was created by god amen this channel is for godly and biblical herbs Promoting the kingdom of God in so many areas. Amen. Many of the times, whatever God blesses me with or whatever he lays upon my heart, if it's marital issues, bedroom issues, God will tell me what to teach and then he will enlighten me more. And then I will come and teach. Amen. What I teach, I also do it in my bedroom whenever god opens my mind or opens my eyes or whenever he speaks to me pertaining to some areas amen marriage friendship whatsoever amen 
good today i'm going to teach about oregano and all spice amen oregano this is oregano oregano this is oregano amen and this is all spice this is full of berries dry ones and then you blend it to get it powdered amen this is all spice all spice is one plant not all the spices no it's one plant it's called all spice that is the name we get it from a berry amen all spice this is blended this is oregano it's not blended this is the dry leaves or oregano you break it or you mash it a little bit and then you you this is what you get out of it amen good i'm going to start with the oregano let me put this here oregano oregano is just like using cumin the white cumin seeds after you blend it it becomes powdered like the allspice so with the oregano it's good when you're eating salad you sprinkle a little bit on it it improves our health in so many areas amen when you get the fresh leaves of oregano you can boil it that is what we call a brew amen you boil it between 15 minutes to 25 minutes and that's it and when when you finish you strain it by using the colander amen you separate the water from the leaves and then when it's warm you can add a little bit of honey or you will leave it like that pray over it and drink it amen it fights a lot of bacteria. It fights a lot of virus. Amen. You it, when it's powdered like when it's this, like this, you put it on your salad. Amen. Or if you have some, let's say broccoli, beans, carrots, you've cut it all mixed up together. All you do is you open it this way. And you sprinkle it all over your salad or on your veggies and you eat it. It's very good and it's very healthy. Amen. Oregano also helps us. It helps to clean. It clear our lungs and our airways of the excess mucus. Okay. Good. You can mix if you, if you have it in powdered you can mix a little bit with your juice water milk and drink it amen i've already said it it helps infections if you have infections or all sort of allergies you can brew it and drink it as a tea or you can mix a little bit when it's powdered in your tea or whatever juice and drink it amen for spiritual purposes oregano if you are preparing your stew you can use it as a spice in the kitchen when you're preparing stew soup broth or you can also like i've already said you brew it as a tea and then you drink it for spiritual purposes amen it helps you it empowers your spirit and soul amen this one oregano and i always encourage you in order for my herbal my godly and biblical herbs program on youtube or facebook will help you grow or help you to empower you spiritually you must first give your life to christ why because he is the creator of heaven and earth amen and most cases i say it like that because that is the truth and that is the fact why because which doctors also malams juju men the fetish priests they also use the oregano to do stuff they have a way of doing it i know how they do it but the bottom line is i am not here to promote satanic kingdom i am here to promote the kingdom of god as an apostle amen they use this and other herbs 
and then they charm and they incant this they recite incantations amen and with them they use the satanic powers to do stuff for people does it work yes it works for them but the end it's not good when they do it for you your chance is automatically you you end up getting witchcraft amen so then what they do is bewitchment what i'm doing here it's in the bible we are supposed to use the herbs to heal and to eat the fruits amen what i'm saying is in ezekiel chapter 47 i believe verse 12 amen so what i'm teaching here it's not demonic it's godly to the glory of god having the presence of oregano being in the fruit the seeds the plants whatever it also protects your environment as a christian god did put some powers in the herbs in the plants in the fruits that's why when you eat certain fruits it can help you cure some diseases it's is the power of god amen good so i have oregano in my house it's good for my own protection both physically and spiritually it's good amen good now i'm done with the oregano this is all spice amen all spice all spice is also good you use it also when you're preparing stew soup whatever if you want to prepare a stock you know that you use season chicken and beef and let's say fish and whatsoever you can use it amen when it's powdered like this it's very useful amen all spice all spice is also good supernaturally amen both physical and spiritual it's also good amen at the right time i will teach what you can use this to promote your businesses but you have to be a child of god you have to worship god in truth and in spirit before i can teach you this amen all spice can be used in stew for killing germs in our mouth so you can you can mix it with water with me everything i do i pray over it amen so you mix this uh, maybe a teaspoon you mix it with water and then you can use it to google your mouth it kills germs the germs inside our mouth amen good all spice you can also brew it and drink it as a tea it relieves cold amen it helps it ease menstrual cramps amen when you have the leaves good when you don't have the leaves and you have the seeds and it's blended this way all you do is you can put maybe this is just, this is just a sample of this this is exactly what i'm teaching you but you if you want to if you want it more you go to the supermarket the grocery stores they have it there amen so let's say you buy a big container you put it in your kitchen if you're having menstrual cramps you take about the regular tablespoons maybe three and you put maybe four ounces of water on the fire boil it for like 10 15 minutes that's it and then you leave it when it's warm pray over it and drink it you can also strain it you can use the colander to, to separate it from the water and you know this so when you finish you can throw this away and then you need the water amen you pray over it and you drink it it will minimize the pain amen also if you have problem with your stomach if you not menstrual cramps but your stomach inside your belly sometimes you do have pain for unnecessary reason amen if in case you don't have any medication or over-the-counter medicine you have all spice this is herbs amen you brew it and then you strain it and then you pray over it you drink it and you're good to go amen good today i'm very i'm doing very good with my time Yep, so oregano and allspice. Amen. For spiritual purposes with allspice, being a Christian, worshipping God in truth and in spirit, having the presence of allspice in your kitchen, your pantry, alone. God, you, there's, there's, there's a blessing when you use this plant, allspice all the herbs all the herbs carry blessings and there are some herbs when you have them in your house 
people who carry evil spirits can't enter your house just because you are a christian and then you have that particular herb in your house amen it doesn't matter whether you're using it you're not using the fact that you are a child of god you worship god in truth and in spirit this is where the difference comes in amen so this if it, if you have this in your house and you are a christian you you respect god amen you obey god and you you fear god amen and you do what the bible says you should do especially when it comes to our physical enemies the bible says we should love them right it's not easy to love your physical enemies but the strategy and the secret is when we follow what the bible tells us to do by loving our physical enemies whatever evil schemes they have against us when they take us to the voodoo the juju the witch doctors the fetish priests whatever they conjure them eh, that is not gonna work that is a secret that is what the holy spirit told me and i find it to be the truth so yes you love your physical enemies but you know they are witches and demons so you do certain things to protect yourself you're going to ask me apostle so how do you do certain things to protect yourself live a godly life continue to worship god in truth and in spirit and don't forget your herbs you go to the store if you are not sure what kind of herbs you should get to put it in your homes call me my number is 240-474-2901 amen my number again is 240-474-2901 amen i am the founder of supernatural apostolic global ministries usa and ghana amen don't hesitate if you need herbal spiritual empowerment don't hesitate amen i am always here for the body of christ globally anybody is welcome to call me you don't have to be a Ghanaian to call me amen i represent christ on earth everything i do must glorify god christ does not discriminate so who are we to discriminate amen so next time you go to the supermarket or to the grocery stores don't forget to get your oregano and your allspice amen oregano if you are worshiping god in truth and in spirit i encourage you to have oregano in your homes at the right time i will teach you more stuff things to do as home remedies and as spiritual directions as a christian with herbs amen the witch doctors they know but they can't teach you guys because whatever they do for you they must do a spiritual exchange that is why the bible tells us in leviticus as christians we are not supposed to consult mediums kwakubonsam is a medium amen akonedi is a medium amen natia is a medium amen the witch doctors are mentioning their names yeah some of them are in ghana they are mediums you don't go to you don't go to them for help you go to god you pray to god you fast to god you read and you study your bibles and you apply what the bible says we should do amen good you go to them that shortcut it's not gonna work amen you always have to rely on god 24 by 7 as the bible tells us we are supposed to worship god in truth and in spirit amen we are supposed to seek the kingdom of god first amen everything you do seek god and then the things that he he created for us the fruits the herbs the spice it's available there's no restrictions if you don't know you don't know but if you know you know amen i am always here to be a blessing to the glory of god amen i have a bunch of herbs bunch of plants fruit seeds that i really wanted to teach I'll try my possible best every Friday. I'll try my possible best to come live, teach, and then I'll share on whatever social media platform that I'm on. So then I'll be a blessing. You listen to me, you, you watch, you listen carefully, and then you learn from Apostle Supernatural. Amen. Amen. We are supposed to help each other. Amen. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of witch doctors and demons and don't 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 mind them. They are foolish people. Amen.
if you need anything don't worry don't hesitate i'll leave my number and then you can call me okay god bless you and make you great in everything you do so like i said don't forget the next time you go to the supermarket or to the grocery stores look for oregano oregano leaves it's like this amen they have it in big bottles and small bottles if you have this it's not a big deal it's good it's still oregano amen and this is all spikes it's also very good at the right time i will teach you more stuff I am doing it little by little amen so then you'll be able to catch it quick so then when you are applying it at home it will be easy for you amen i have a bunch of things to teach pertaining to herbs plants and fruits amen so it will benefit you amen in ghana we say it obinima obitre amen good i am always humble i am here to teach you what god blesses me with amen bow down your heads and let's pray my broadcast is almost over all right let me know when you're ready you wave by hands and i'll know you are ready and then i'll pray and then i'll close amen all right let's close our eyes and pray Father God, we thank you so much for giving us the privilege to come online to share your word. I thank you for using me to be a blessing to teach my brothers and sisters in the area of herbs. May you always bless us with fresh ideas. Bless our businesses. Everything that we are doing, we pray that you bless us, you prosper us in all areas of life. Help us to be a blessing unto each other help us to always be there for each other help us to be able to be strong in the law 24 by 7 help us to live a godly life help us to always remember our leaders that we will pray for them you will bless them and they will do what is right we thank you for our precious lives our families our husbands our children our church leaders our church members and even our physical enemies we soak ourselves in the blood of jesus we thank you for tonight's broadcast. We thank you for everything. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Even the things that we don't have, we thank you for it. We thank you for blessing us with the gift of life. We thank you so much, Heavenly Father. May you always have your way in our lives. And we submit our wills, our spirit, mind, soul, and body into your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye.